नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर रूपल शाह सो यू हैव डिसाइडेड टू डू अ कॉर्नियल रिफ्रैक्टिव सर्जरी बट देर आर सो मेनी ऑप्शन विच वन टू चूज टू हेल्प यू विद दैट लेट मी टेक यू थ्रू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउ द कॉर्नियल रिफ्रैक्टिव सर्जरी यू वॉन्ट सो इनिशियली कॉर्नियल रिफ्रैक्टिव सर्जरी वॉज गेटिंग डन in the surface ablation form to make it simpler for you basically what we are doing is to reshape the cornea now cornea and all body surfaces are covered by a skin like layer called epithelium if we go through the epithelium to create a shape then the epithelium can regrow and then all the shape change that you have done can go away so somehow we need to go under the epithelium in order to achieve the shape change so the very beginning we were removing the epithelium doing the laser treatment so that you get the shape in the bed and then allowing the epithelium to reform this was known as prk or photorefractive keratectomy when you do that there is a longer post operative recovery period because not just the corneal reshaping that needs to have a healing response but also the epithelium that you removed has a healing response of its own so just like if you remove the skin and the skin can come back in a couple of days but the normal texture takes a little while to come here the healing response can go on for months and it also needs to be controlled with the help of drops sometimes steroids which needs to be taken for a longer period and therefore it can have some side effects and needs a close observation most corneal refractive surgery is getting done in younger people they don't really have time and therefore lasik very quickly came into being where we started creating a flap of the cornea now cornea you can imagine is like a 500 pages notebook you can open few pages do the laser treatment underneath and put the flap back this is how the lasik procedure gets done so it involves two steps one is to create the shape the other one is to reshape the bed creating of the flap was getting done with a mechanical instrument called a microkeratome a microkeratome has a blade which is incorporated into it which oscillates at a very high frequency and therefore creates a smooth opening of the flap but it's a mechanical mi- instrument sometimes it fails and then you may not have enough space to do the treatment and also sometimes it can overshoot and you can have a free cap often there may be some irregularities on the surface and when it goes back it's draping over like a sari and not really getting connected and therefore it can take as long as couple of months for it to become as stable as a normal eye so you do need to take care and the complication ratio also becomes proportionately slightly higher because if the flap doesn't get made properly you cannot have the procedure going on in order to answer this particular limitation there were femtosecond lasers which were invented femtosecond lasers help you to create a flap with much less of a problem since it's a laser which is creating a flap it usually happens in a precise manner and it also is always almost correctly placed and you get the desired opening in the stromal bed and therefore the whole procedure now has become very safe and much more predictable than the microkeratome lasik femtosecond laser or bladeless lasik is something which has made the corneal refractive surgery available safe and predictable for most of the people also the flap heals much faster because it gets locked in 
so chances of it moving out is much less and also the cornea preserves its strength slightly better. But you are compartmentalizing, so the flap which opens and the reshaping would require some amount of tissue to be removed. Both together makes your cornea still slightly weaker. Also, there, are, there is a finite time for which the flap can move quite easily with just a little bit of agitation. And therefore, to answer even these small problems that were likely to happen, SMILE procedure came into being. Now, SMILE is an acronym for Small Incision Lenticule Extraction. Too many jargon of words. Simply put, it means that you are avoiding this making of a flap. So you are avoiding a lot of problems that are associated by creating a flap. What we do instead is to make two passes of the femtosecond laser in an intact cornea. This forms a lenticule within the cornea, which is very easily removed through a small incision. So you can imagine, it's like instead of doing an open abdominal surgery, you're doing a laparoscopic one. Instead of cutting out 30 millimeters of nerve endings, you would be cutting only three, and therefore it would offer a better dryness profile post-operatively, and also heals almost instantaneously. Within a week, you go scuba diving and there is no issue. So in today's generation, where you have to be back on your feet much earlier, SMILE plays a big role in getting you there much easily and with a lot of speed. In a SMILE procedure, you would be able to avoid all possible flap-related issues because you're not creating a flap at all. It has also a safety profile which is quite close to the surface ablation procedure that I described because you are not creating a flap. But you are avoiding all the pain that is associated with removal of that epithelial cells. So it's like put in a nutshell, it has the advantage of a surface ablation, the safety of a surface ablation, but without the pain. And it has the advantage of a quick recovery and less need to use steroids of a LASIK, but without the flap. So it's like combining the best of both worlds and that's where we stand today. So if you ask me, SMILE is definitely a way of the future and that could be, in indicated cases, the best way to do a corneal refractive surgery. So come with me and SMILE. Follow Center for Sight and post your queries to get answers from the experts.